going to be the host uh, the venue here for an indoor sports uh, football team. Oh, really? Called the New York Streets. They're coming later this year. They have some different rules uh, indoor. But you know, I looked at this and I said, gee, you could punt and hit those things in the ceiling. But they said it was fine. So you said, sure. We signed a contract, six home dates. Well, Jim, how are you? Yeah, so you know, I'm sorry to get back to you. From the north. Mr. President, how are you? You're very busy. Do not worry. It's all right. Please just go in and go ahead. I'll tell May right now you're here. I'm going to rush you. As this population is aging and living longer, dementia is going to be very much a part of all our lives. So we mentioned a few things. Um, affordability, the aging population is growing in Westchester. Transportation needs I mentioned with the supervisor here. Um, things that, the general stuff. Mr. Latimer, we said earlier before you came in that a large percentage of all of our seniors are, have insufficient incomes to meet their housing needs, their health needs, their transportation needs. And we're here to serve and we want to hear from you and we will be sharing with you what we have heard from our leaders this morning. Our County Executive George Latimer. I'm, I'm happy to be here to share a few thoughts but also to listen uh, to what comes out of the conversations that happen here. Uh, you have um, in your presence the first senior citizen county executive in a while. So last, last Thanksgiving Day I hit 65. I know that's the early front end of the club, but I'm in the club. And, uh, and that's helpful. And, and like most of you, I complain that my grandchildren don't call me enough on the phone. And there's nothing I can do legislatively about that. And, and we can't assume that what we're doing today is perfect, that, it's, that nothing needs to change. We have to constantly be looking at changing and improving things. What David and the members of the Board of Legislators uh, have the opportunity to do, working with the administration, is to help us look at the Beeline bus system and determine are the routes that we have now the best possible routes? Is the way we provide mass transit the best possible way to do that? Uh, things are more dispersed today than they ever were geographically. So to work on the transportation needs for seniors is very much in our ballpark, something that I look forward to working with David and Damon and the rest of the legislature on it. We're going to go knock it on the door of our friends in Albany and Washington. Man, if you got Andrea Stewart Cousins in the Senate, if you got uh, Nita Lowy in the Congress, we got some friends, but our friends can't make it right for us. We have to figure out how to make it right for us and then go to them and say, we have a workable program. We have a concrete thing that we're sure going to help people, and this is where we need the help. And that's, our, that's certainly my commitment because, as they say, politicians only do stuff for themselves. Well, I'm a senior citizen, so if I'm doing stuff for myself, I have to be doing it for you, too. Thanks very much. Thank you. Let me thank you for a minute. Okay. Thank you, David. Thank you, George. Okay. Um, when you went up there, you had no notes. You just spoke. How do you get prepared for that? And we can well, talk about that. You know, it, when I look at my schedule and I see what types of uh, groups I'm going to be speaking to today, go well, that way. Um, you know, I, I sort of think about what's the message I want to have, so I have a chance to mull it over in my mind. I almost never have notes unless it's factual data that I want to reference. You know, so many dollars to do this and so many places. And even some of those things, I have it in my head already. It's the constant exposure to policy issues that you're, that you're always thinking about that leads you to the comfort level of not having to have a lot of uh, notes, advanced prep.